Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 3 of Battle Pope in 1.30 Emperor. Today, we're probably going to talk a little bit about the government capacity, governing capacity actually, because we'll be coring a couple things here, which will be full stated upon impact, so that would probably be a good time to talk about it. Now, obviously, governing capacity is sort of, you know, very easily what it represents is kind of obvious. It's, you know, hey, can I uh, have these things in my in my country fully stated, or do they have to be territories? So, pretty much it just represents the amount of dev, I think. Is it total dev? I'm not even sure. It's something roughly along the lines of total development that is counted as a state. Somewhat. For territories, I think it's like 50%, and I think for trade companies, it's like 20% cost or something like that. Uh, despite the fact that territories are now locked at 90% autonomy, rather than 75, and trade companies are actually less than that now, interestingly enough. So, yeah. Because we'll be stating a couple things, our governing capacity is being used a little bit. Uh, but there are a couple different things we can do couple things we can do to change that. Now, one of those things is we can, if we wanted to, you know, give ourselves some governing capacity like this, which would be not a bad idea if needed. Another way is through the uh, reform menu, what we can do is hit expand administration, which now costs some government reform points. I'm not sure if this number's actually gone up. I think usually what happens is, um, this actually takes a lot longer to increase, but I think it's been increased from before because now it's used on stuff like expand administration. It's also used when you swap instead of getting corruption, which is very hard, you know, somewhat difficult to pay off. That's a little annoying early game, especially now it just uses some reform progress, which I find much, much nicer. Okay, what else can we do here? We can get some money, lose autonomy in a place that I'm not sure where, over here. Okay, that wouldn't be so bad. In fact, it would be pretty nice. Yeah, I'll accept that. Another thing of note is that, um... Estates no longer start to get penalties at below 40, which I believe was the limit before or something. Was it 30? No, I think it was 40. If they were, you know, below 40, then they get penalties. That's no longer the case. That's been dropped to 30, which I find is, you know, gives you a lot more room to play around with the states and stuff. It's quite nice. So, look forward to using that whenever you guys get your hands on the game, or on the DLC. Probably just end up taking this right now. Yeah, there's not really a reason not to, except for the 5% cost. How close are you to getting it? Oof, that's a long time. It's because this hasn't grabbed it yet. Maybe I'll just wait. Ooh, I do get a claim on Nitsa. Boundary dispute. I do like the new art, by the way. There's a ton of new art in this. It's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere, but I do like, do like this one. This one's between Castile and um, France, though, but, you know. Sure, we'll get a claim on one province in Savoy. No problem. Who else can we ally? Let's try and get ourselves a nice little network here. Well, we do have Hungary, Austria, Castile, and Milan. I would think that's pretty good. Maybe we don't need anything else. Hmm. Maybe we don't. I will grab that, though. That's good. Don't need this anymore. I'll start improving with Switzerland again. Also, have you stopped rivaling me? You have. Oh, joy. Beautiful. Let's improve relations with you. With you. And finally, Livonia, when the opportunity comes. Beautiful stuff. Supporting the orders, which will be a little bit difficult. We have to juggle a little bit of nobility influence and stuff. Um, which is probably going to come from removing strong duchies. Ooh, Hussite King Elector in Bohemia. Mmm, interesting. 
He's chosen to keep his heretic Hussite faith. Right. So I can basically say, screw off. And, you know, have fun being heretics. Or I can... Try and reconcile. The thing is, I don't really want... That reform desire, so I'm probably just gonna say, hey, you should probably stop doing that whole heresy thing. Looks like they're gonna do it anyway, though. We'll see. They've elected him, or he's he's the new elector. However, they don't have, they haven't swapped to Hussite yet. Hmm. Looks like they might actually just be purging Hussite right now. Not over there, not over here, never mind. Maybe they're not purging Hussite. Be a lot cooler if they did, though. Okay, how are you guys doing? Now it's embraced. Okay. Now you're getting 0 0.62 a month? Never mind. I actually will take this because that is a ridiculously poor, poor cost. Or, you know, it's just going to take forever. So, I'm just going to let my uh, 2.34 a month go up instead. I'm also really glad this prestige so high because that gives me a ton of improved relations which we certainly know I need for my idiot of a Pope look at this dude look at that naive enthusiast disgusting how am I supposed to conquer Italy if people keep hating me all the time impossible it can't be done you know what I can do though I probably should start integrating my subjects Six per month. Oof, I cannot sustain that. 96 by yourself, and this is going to cost 64. Do some quick quick math on that. That is 160. And at this rate, to get the another 80, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take uh, 160 months, is that? No, 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 no. 16 months. Can that be done in 16 months? Hmm, I'd say sure, why not? Annex them both at the same time. They'll be done relatively close to each other, but that's cool. Just gonna bring them back into the fold here. Uh, my current force limit is high enough anyway, so I can probably just take care of them, no problem. I'll get those armies for free. I won't get the manpower, though, which sucks, but I will get, you know, an army. Somewhat. Okay, next tech. Definitely admin. Good idea. Actually, is it? Yeah, it's a fine idea. I'll grab it. And if we keep making this amount of bank... Well, it shouldn't take too long before we manage to build up the papal treasury as well. To get myself an increased papal tithe... Which will be quite nice here. Hmm. I could spend quite a lot. Quite a lot of money here. There's not much I can actually do myself with this uh, Kyria coffers. Unless I want to investigate heresy. Or I want to get a new golden bull. There's really not much I can do. So. Hmm. I can, I can give people cardinals. That's true. There's no real reason not to. Makes people happy. Makes people like me a lot more. I should probably get rid of Florence immediately as soon as they get a new... Oh, elections are every 12 years? I don't know what kind of elections you guys are doing, but... um. Okay. Okay, interesting. That's not usually a play style you see. Really, is that specific to Florence? Because, yeah, that is 12 years. That's a lot. That's a long time between elections. The next one is in a few years, about seven, right? Yeah, about seven, maybe a little bit less than that. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to excommunicate the next one. Not this one, but the one after. I have too much aggressive expansion still, so. We'll just wait for that. Okay, we're gonna get our new government reform soon. I can't wait. Oh, there's one integration. Beautiful. Integrate him into the army as well. Oof. 
Holy Roman intervention against the three leagues. What have you done? You've invaded... You've invaded... Switzerland. You absolute idiot. Well, I'll join in. I won't do much. Don't know if I can be bothered, to be honest with you. Um, oh, but I went to war, which ruined my diet. Ah, That's what happened, yeah. That's not what I wanted. I'll have to summon a new one. Unfortunately. Right. I mean, it was either the diet or losing my alliance with Austria. It's not really good to do either of those things, but I'd rather the diet. Okay, Burgundy likes me. Or I get... 20% trade power in Valencia. That doesn't seem very likely to me at all. Uh, stab at three? Oh, you guys are ridiculous. Of course I'm going to go for the nobility's proposal. That is absolutely ridiculous. I didn't even have an option there. Ridiculous. I'm sure Austria can take care of this whole thing for me. Especially with Aragon in here as well. I probably won't have to do much. Probably. It's possible. We'll see. You guys are looking pretty good, and once I annex this subject, the strong duchies will go away, leaving me with... Well, they'll lose 10% influence, bringing them down to 56 Ah, but their influence needs to be less than 50. That is a problem. Hmm. It'd be tough to get rid of another one. I'd have to wait for an event, probably. To be honest. Yeah, that's probably what'll end up happening. But at least we can make them temporarily loyal. We'll see. And the next time I revoke some land, which, well, should be relatively soon, that should help us out a little bit as well. Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, Austria is just wrecking face. We don't have to worry about a single thing. Except my subject, who is deciding to go off and die. Well, he'll come back soon enough. There we go. More integration. Beautiful. Bring you over here. Both of these guys are integrated. I could embrace the Renaissance right now, but I have a 94% right here. And a... Well, I would say this guy is pretty close, too. We have to wait for Urbino first, though. Before anything else, so... Yeah, it's a shame, but whatever. Now we have way too many troops, though. It's going to hurt my economy pretty ridiculously, so I'll probably just get rid of these ones. Except for the Cav. Let's keep that one Cav. I'll get rid of two of these guys. There we go. Being slightly over force limits not a problem. Okay, yeah. No longer do we have the strong duchies, which is great. Fortunately, they just have way too much land, or too much influence still. Hmm. We'll see. I wonder if I can... Can I claim these, though? Would you give those to me, maybe? I doubt it, but they might. Potentially, they could. Right, time for our first reform. Well, we could go for a mission on the high seas. I don't think that's the best of ideas, though. External mission, internal mission. Tolerance of the true faith is ridiculously powerful, but I could get manpower recovery speed. That's a tough one. This one's also really good for conquering things and converting them. Let's go for the internal mission for now, I think. Yeah, let's do that. So that when we conquer areas, there'll be less unrest in a lot of them. And war exhaustion won't affect us nearly as much. So we should be okay. 
If I wanted to invade you, oof, you've made my job that much harder. If I wanted to invade you, I imagine the same thing. Everyone's also inside the Empire, so... Not much I can do about that. Hmm. Could build some buildings, but I'd rather wait. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait to rebuild the Papal Treasury. And then we'll get ourselves a couple of nice things. Suppose while we're at it, maybe I should improve relations with the Livonian Order. Wait one more month on this one. And that'll probably... Probably just give a, um... A cardinal over to Burgundy, because why not? That'll speed up this process quite a bit, won't it? And then I could revoke something as well. I mean, their equilibrium right now is not fantastic, that's for sure. This one's actually really hard to do. Hmm... Unless I wanted to sell land, which I could do temporarily. We'll wait. We'll wait for the agenda to do its thing. And I'm not going to investigate heresy until it's at like 95%. So that we, you know, we have the longest amount of time possible without the reformation. I think that's how that's going to work out pretty well. There we go. Loyalty's increased. It only needed to be 50, not 60 like I thought for some reason. But there we go. Looking pretty happy. Unfortunately, I'd still have to steal some of their influence. Which I could do by taking this, but then loyalty drops. Pretty hard. Hmm. Their equilibrium is not great, but that'll improve in a few years. What I really want to do is revoke land. That's what I actually want to do. What could I do here? I could give them a, a monopoly, actually. I could revoke this and then give them a monopoly. And it's only, it's only li livestock, which I think I have one province of, right? Yeah, I have one livestock. It's not like I'm giving them paper or anything, which is, like, really valuable. Well, it will be really valuable soon, but... It's not like it's grain or, like, it's... Anything too important. It's just livestock, which is, like, regular stuff. Hmm. That might actually... Turn out in our favor if we just give them a quick monopoly. To boost that loyalty up after revoking something. That seems like a plan to me. But, of course, we'll have to wait. Before doing anything, we'll have to wait. There we go. Austrian victory. They didn't give me anything, of course, but... Thanks, I guess. Cool. Uh, and there's no one left to fight, so I will drop all of my things here. For that extra cash while I wait. Seems like Switzerland still doesn't like me very much. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I did just annex some members of the HRE, so... They don't think too kindly of me, but that's fine. Right, okay, Renaissance. 88% almost just clicked on that. I mean, I want that anyway, but... Ooh, Prestige or Devotion? Definitely Prestige. Just one a month. So, yeah, less than a year. Well, around a year. And then we'll grab ourselves the Institution. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay, cool. Austria doesn't really give us anything except for some favors, but those are always useful anyway. I'll use those favors from Austria, maybe just just like this. Maybe France will still be dead long enough, who knows. We'll see. Now we're getting closer to rebuilding the papal treasury. Get some, some of that good old papal tithe for 20 years before everyone decides to become a heretic. That'll be great. Size hasn't increased. Oh no, it actually did. Force limits increased very slightly. 
And of course, I've inherited a few more ships, which is always good. The larger the navy, the better. And there we go. Rebuild the papal treasury. Beautiful. Now let's bring you to Genoa. The rest of you are fine. I don't think my force limits... Yeah, no, we're cool. We're solid. Let me build one bark, though. Because why not? That's not a bark. Did I click bark there? Or did I click the galley? There's my bark. There we go. How about you? Mm, yeah, you're a problem. Because you bought some indulgences. Uh, you're a problem because you're allied with Burgundy. That's a monumental issue. You're a problem because... I'm sure there's a problem with you. Over here I have a truce. I could invade you in theory, but it would be hard. How about you? Same thing, it'd be a bit of an issue. Hmm. Milan, Ferrara, and Naples is a little too powerful of a combo there. Genoa, Cyprus, and Saluzzo. I could probably actually do that. Let me get a claim on Siena. We'll start with that. And I don't believe the timer's gone yet, but it should in a few minutes here. Could grab one of those. Oh, that's be, that'd be a great idea, actually. How are we doing over there? Just four more months? Nothing else seems very close at all, either. Just gonna wait those ones out. And we should be good to go. Of course, my Pope is still terrible. Good thing he's old. The old man's going senile. Hmm. Naive enthusiast Anton Bezler. Could you even be worse? Could you be any worse than you already are? Hmm. Right. The Renaissance has spawned over there. I might as well grab it. Did that actually decrease the price? I don't even think it did. It probably did. There's a good chance that it did. I'll just go ahead and grab that. Grab some new military tech. And we'll grab ourselves Founding of the Vatican Library. Okay, beautiful. This is the one I like because it gives you some free stuff. So, we get National Unrest minus two. Ridiculously powerful. Administrative tech cost for that as well. Uh, or we could get mill tech cost and army tradition from battles. Also ridiculously powerful. A diplo rep plus one. The thing is, my national unrest is not going to be that bad. It won't be really, because I'm going to have a couple of good things. First of all, papacy, internal mission, catholic, and base value gives me ridiculously good tolerance. But on top of that, I'm probably going to go for uh, I can't even speak religious ideas as well, which will give me an extra two tolerance, right? And on top of that, I get extra two tolerance right there. So we can expect to see ourselves at eleven tolerance of the true faith, which I believe is an automatic, uh, yeah, eleven unrest decrease in all provinces that are Catholic. Which is ridiculously good. If I took this, that would be like having minus 13 unrest in all Catholic provinces automatically. Which of course is really good, but could I take army tradition from battles instead? Probably, because guess who's battle pope? It's me, so I'm probably going to do this. Because it sort of fits the theming a little bit, so. Battle pope it is. 100% battling. So we grabbed ourselves... Well, we should have grabbed external if we were keeping the whole Battle Pope theme. But of course we'll go to combat heresy on the next one. When they say combat heresy, they mean combat heresy with 10% morale of armies. It's kind of ridiculous. These other two... Oh, there we go. These other two are relatively okay. They're not great. They're decent. Development? Yeah, sure. It's alright. It's cool. Really prestige. Ah, uh, I mean, it's okay. Devotion and Curia Controller already give me a good portion of that. Um, and now that I'm checking, I should insult someone. 
like you. Let's see here. Your leader's head is as empty as a eunuch's underpants. Hmm. I don't even know what that means. But it gives me power projection, so why not? Whoa. Uh, huh. Hmm. Ferrara has inherited Burgundy. You don't say. You don't say, huh? And Austria has gone to war with Venice on a completely unrelated note. And they do guarantee us that we'll get some land out of it. So we'll probably go ahead and accept that real quick. Let me just get a quick month and a half of... Well, let me get one month in here and we'll begin. Unfortunately, we are out of time for today's episode. We'll start off this war with Venice next time. They did plan to give us some land here. Not to the Viso, but probably Verona. Hmm, I'm interested to see what they'll grant me. For now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick thank you to the patrons you see on screen here for the month of June. Especially those in the Admiral tier, Ben Greenhagen, Car Newley, and Tiger Pop. Those in the General tier, Justinian and Brennan Arcano. And in the Prince tier, Natsuki and Rockbox. And in the King tier, Chewy Shoot. Thank you all so much for your donations, it means a lot to me, and you're helping to move the channel forward more than you know. And as always, I can't possibly thank you enough.